Monday Night Raw is live tonight. We are in the University of Texas, Austin, the capital of the great state of Texas, and the Irwin Center sold out. 13,124 members of the WW Universe here tonight. What a beautiful city, Austin, Texas. It's tonight. Raw is presented by Just Men from Mustang. Keep your edge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of edge, this is what happened moments ago here on Monday Night Raw. A little uh, verbal confrontation between Orton and Zack Ryder when this happened. Oh. Oh. Perhaps Edge was incensed oh. after the uh, RKO earlier tonight, King. Uh, ambushing, attacking, targeting the already injured shoulder of Randy Orton. Now, from what we understand, there are uh, doctors and trainers uh, attending to Orton as we speak. Now, the question is this. Will Orton be able to uh, to team tonight with John Cena against Edge and Sheamus in our huge main event? Well, that was the question before that because his arm wasn't 100%, but exactly. I don't think there's any question now. I don't think Orton's going to be able to. I don't think he'll be able to go. Oh! We're find out. Well, somebody at mouth is always able to go. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Ohio, weighing 231 pounds, the Miz. I'll tell you this, Miz is going to do something here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he's been waiting a long time to do. He's going to teach this, this Daniel Bryan some respect. Now, one of the reasons this, uh, this punk Daniel Bryan didn't survive in NXT, didn't make it throughout the competition, King, is because he didn't listen to his pro, the Miz. Wow, so now Daniel Bryan is a punk. After what he did last week, of course he is. Yeah. And then from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing 185 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Well, there is Daniel Bryan. He's on a one-night contract. But let's go back and look at what happened last week on NXT concerning you, Michael Cole, and this young man, Daniel Bryan. You want to be a man and you can't even escape a handshake? I thought you were talking about being a man. What? Oh, a man hides behind security guards. A man hides behind a mouse table. Is that what a man does? You tapped out of this competition. You tapped out because losers have no heart. And, Michael, I think I saw you actually try a slap, but if you're going to do that and run away, have a better escape plan. No, you get cut off at the pass and taken down. What did you expect, Michael? Oh, I mean, you can't. King, I'm not a wrestler. You know that as well as I do. And then a sucker punch from Daniel Bryan on his, yeah. his mentor. And you said it right. Sucker punch. That's what Daniel Bryan's been doing weeks and weeks here, is sucker punching people. All because he's ticked off that he didn't have the guts and the heart to make it. To and he wants to blame everybody else. He's looking for every excuse in the book. And the best thing I heard tonight is the fact that our guest host, Ashton Kutcher, signed this young man to a one-day contract. Because after tonight, we're not going to have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, but look at these punches. He just, he floored the man's already here. Well, he's uh, using a closed fist, and I believe that is illegal. Get it now! And uh, Daniel Bryan attempted a submission hold already, but oh, and there we go. Inexperience, uh oh, on the part of Daniel Bryan. Go ahead, Michael, you cheerlead. Yeah, well, Miz, it's been a long time coming. Good luck, Bryan, and good riddance. Back to the minor leagues, you loser. Okay, try to, don't sugarcoat it. Say what you really mean. Yeah, go back to the independents. How about that? Back to your internet buddies and your friends. Guy's such a nerd. Doesn't even own a television set. What? Yeah. He's got a Herculean physique. Watch this huge kick to the head. He's got this thing called the Daniel Bryan manliness meter. Well, how did you and he get at odds to begin with? I mean, it's just uh, because he couldn't take criticism. Oh, you know, he can't take criticism. He's got rabbit ears. We used to call it Little League Baseball, right? Rabbit ears. When you hear somebody yeah. out in the stands heckling you can't hit, can't hit. Well, he took it, but, you know, didn't like what I was saying about him. Well, if he's not going to take my criticism, how's he going to take what the superstars in the locker room have to say? Well, here's criticism from his yeah. mentor right here, first on a first-hand basis. And what's a vegan anyway? He says he's a vegan. Vegan? Oh, yes. Yeah. Doesn't eat meat. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, that's not that unusual. It's not that no. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of people that don't. Hey, and you know it's eat or be eaten around here. You know that. Whoa, oh, oh, look out. Wait, what? Come on, Miss. He was close. Look at this. What a counter by Miz. the biggest upset in not in the history of WWE, 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 no, WWE, WWE history. Please. It, it may very well be. Oh, yeah, man, there we go. Maybe this will teach this kid some respect for a change. Oh. Well, the match is over. And he is now just... Sorry. I'm trying to apologize for real. You hear me? You hear me? Oh. Oh. I apologize to you. Yeah. Apologize. Oh. Michael! 